Hello friends, my name is Jignesh Trivedi. In this video, I am going to explain about the data binding in the Blazor. The Blazor is a .NET web framework that can run in any browser. The Blazor applications can create by using C Sharp, Razor, and HTML. It runs in a browser on a real .NET runtime called Mono via WebAssembly. The data binding is one of these powerful features of software development technologies. It can connection bridge between the views and the business logic formerly called a view models of our applications. Blazor supports both the one-way binding and two-way binding. For demonstrating purpose, I am using the Visual Studio 2019 preview version, .NET Core 3.0 preview 3 version and Blazor extension 0.9.0 version. Let's talk about the one-way binding. The name suggests itself, one-way binding. It updates the data from business logic is the call of view models to view. It is also known as an interpolation or expressions in other frameworks such as an Angular and AngularJS. In the Razor views, one-way binding can be designed or defined by at the red keyword followed by the name of this property or the variable name. Let's see the demo. Uh, here I'm, I have created the project and adding one razor view. Say so the data binding .html. Uh, defining the route first using the page directives and port section at the rest functions. Now I'm defining one of this property or sorry, not one of the variables in my code sections that can be populated to the my HTMLs. Let's see. I'm defining one of the string variables, string name equals to Jignesh Trivedi. I'm defining over the speech paragraph sections over here. My name, column, address name. Let's build the application and run using the browser window console window. Uh, one of the benefit over here to run the application in a console window. That if we are building an application and refresh it, it's automatically, our build get automatically refreshed on our browser. No need to stop and rerun the application again. Okay, the port is now listening to uh, 21691 and I am running in the Chrome browser. Okay, so let's see. Uh, oh, here uh, my name is Signature Trivedi is populated from my variables values to here. Right, I change it to my variable value over here and rebuild and re rerun again my applications. Is get populated. Let's talk about the two-way binding. Uh, it update the data from the business logic to views and vice versa. Right. So it update the uh, our view model data to view and view model data to view or view data to view models. It can be defined using the bind directives uh, in the blazer uh, we have an uh, a bind directives available that can be used to define the two way binding the blazer supports a two way binding for uh, uh, 
data types like string, integer, date and time, enum, booleans. Let's see the demo. Okay, so I am uh, using the same page for demonstration purpose. So I am using the same properties name, uh, so same variables name in this demonstration. So I am uh, creating one text box, input type. And using the bind directives, I'm binding my variables names to this tax box. So whatever the values are defining into the tax box are get updated to the my variable, and whatever the variable value has has values, right? It automatically get updated to the my tax box. Let's see the demo. Let us delete the applications and rerun my application again. So, as you seen here, so my variable data is automatically get updated as I update this variable name. So, it is automatically get updated. Let's take another examples of uh, a boolean type. So I have uh, put this some of the static text. Have you uh, tried the blazer? And uh, I have defined the input type tag box. And binding the properties, binding the variable. is try also if we are running uh, using the is try right so it's uh, written the true or false stacks so instead of uh, doing that Right. If you want to do some of the manipulations of the string, we can do. So here I have done the manipulations of if this is try is true, then I printed the yes. Otherwise, no. Let's see the demo, build my application and refresh the browser. So when I click on this checkbox, right, so my values got changed. Okay, so apart from that, uh, the blazer is also supporting the event binding, right? Let's see the event binding, how it's work. So event binding is also defining by a thread keywords followed by the function name or event name. So uh, in the blazer, right? So event are generally the functions, right? And defining into the for code sections. Let's see the demo. I have created one buttons over here. button let's say uh, event binding and defining the click event on click equals to at the red uh, name of the function uh, name of the event 
let's say uh, I am doing the event binding, creating the event binding functions in my code section and provide it over here. Void event binding. Let's write something in the console window. Console dot log dot write lines. So console dot write lines are uh, writing into the console windows of our browser. So it is very useful in the debugging purpose as well. Event binding. I'm, I'm writing this in the console window event binding and ref rebuild and refresh it in our browser. Let's see what happens. So I am opening this uh, console windows of the browser so that I can view that whatever the be written in the console window. As you seen, uh, event binding is written, right? So this function, uh, if we have a small requirement, so we can also uh, defining the inline function over here. Let's see the demo of the inli inline functions. So I am copying uh, this button. defining the inline function I'm writing over here the event binding in line button stack is also got changed in line let's build the application and run again so as you seen right so both have a different tags printed over here in the console windows Apart from this, uh, Rick can also handle the child component event to this parent event component, right? We can compare it with the event bubbling and event capturing, right? And that's event capturing, event bubbling, right? So the, uh, the event is captured by the outermost element and propagated to this inner element. And event bubbling is an uh, uh, event is captured by the innermost element and propagate to the outermost. So we can compare with this, right? It is but not it is an event bubbling and event capturing. Let's see the demo. So for demo test purpose, I have created a two component. One is a parent component and one is a child component, as you can see over here. Right. Uh, so this child component, I have uh, creating one buttons and uh, on click of this button, I have raised some of the events in one. Right. And uh, uh, I am defining it as an uh, actions and it is get to parameters. Let's say see this parent component. Let's see the parent component. In the parent component, I am defining the child component and subscribe that some event actions in my child component and defining it into the parent component. So I, I am writing this uh, console or write line. Let's see the demo. As you've seen over here, right? The child event is, is get populated over here. So this is all about the data binding, right? So in this videos, I have, I have covered the data binding. The blazer is 
support it both the one way binding and two way binding and we have seen the event binding as well in this videos thank you hope you enjoy this video thank you very much